Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with my final video, probably, I think this is my final video of 2016 or maybe it'll be my first 2017, I'm pretty sure final of 2016, anyway, welcome back to another video, this time, as you probably t can tell by the title, going to be reflecting a bit, talking about 2016, looking at what the future plans are for 2017 and first thing I wanted to say just was thank you very much to all of you out there who have always and supported me, stuck around and uh, got me through 2016. Uh, it's been pretty up and down sort of year. I know a lot of people, you know, it's a meme to talk shit about 2016. It sucks. Obviously, there's been a lot of celebrity deaths and there's been a lot of chaos and the world's pretty divided at the moment on almost every social issue ever. But, you know, it's not the that bad of a year. I don't, fuck. It sounds pretty bad when I put it like that. But, I mean, for me personally, it's been, I mean... It's been crazy. There's been so many ups and downs. Like, uh, I mean, I don't even know how to put it. I haven't really had much of a chance, really, when I think about it, to reflect on this year and what it's meant and everything like that. But, I mean, probably also been the best year for me. I don't know. It's. It, I feel like every year gets better and better and better if you really work uh, for it. But it's just been different. You know, there's been busy as ever as usual kind of thing in my life uh, the channel's done not exactly what I wanted it to do this year that's for sure but I think it's done really well considering the fact there has been no Assassin's Creed game considering the fact I took two months off there um in the third quarter of the year uh September October kind of period so I mean from that perspective it's done pretty well it's been i mean if you look by the numbers it's been my biggest year ever in terms of views on the channel in terms of subscribers on the channel and that's always a good sign as long as every year is getting better and better and better than the last before it then there's nothing more i can ask for and i'm super stoked about that now on the other hand it could have been better I talked about it at the start of the year, I looked back on that video of what I wanted from 2016 and it was, you know, about consistency and all this, this and that, and I mean, really, I'm pretty sure, I checked this as well, I mean, I was consistent as anything, this, I've never uploaded so many videos in a year than I did this year, so, I mean, I've put more work in than I ever have before, it was just the fact that I did take the, that time off in there that kind of makes it seem like I haven't been around, but really this, I've been uploading more this year than I ever have. Even with those two months off, I've still done more videos this year than ever before. So, that's a pretty good sign. It's been a big year for me, and I've tried to do everything I can. I've really tried to change this channel to something I can enjoy uh, as much as I can doing goofy shit that's not always exactly maybe what everyone subscribes to me for, it's not always the Assassin's Creed shit, but I try to always make sure I'm having a good time, having a good laugh, and that's my main priority at the end of the day, but also doing the Assassin's Creed content everyone wants, and I think next year, when I look at next year, there's going to be some goofy shit I do, of course, it's just, it just comes with the territory when you subscribe to Dynamite, but there's going to be a lot of Assassin's Creed stuff, because obviously 2017 is going to be huge for Assassin's Creed, we're going to finally get the announcement, I'm 100% sure we'll get the announcement of the next Assassin's Creed game and probably the release in 2017 if not very early 2018 so it's it's going to be a big one it's going to be a very big one and I thought last year or this past year was going to be that year but because there was no game and I didn't know that as of the 1st of January uh, you know that changed within a couple of weeks in January when the Empire League came out there would be no game this, this year in 2016 so you know that kind of put you know, a spanner in the works, if you will. But the podcast, record numbers this year, consistency on that. We did it every single fortnight we said we were going to do it, other than there was like a three period we had it off, but then we made up for it by doing like three podcasts in a row. So on average, yeah, we were there every fortnight. We said we were going to do it. We did 25 episodes this year. So that's every fortnight except obviously this Christmas period, one of the fortnights we're having off because it's the new year because it's supposed to be this Probably when this video comes out, it's supposed to be when Kill Connor Club's out, but, you know, we're taking that time off, you know, I've been at home with my family for the past week and a bit, uh, in sunny, beautiful Brisbane, Queensland, um, so that was a lot of fun, just to kind of, I don't know, spend time with family, obviously, but I, I, I'm trying to refresh in my head, but I feel like 
now that I'm back, it's like, okay, let's start again, let's start again, I'm, I'm back home in Melbourne, let's get to it, I'm kind of just blabbering on, I realise that at this point, but I, I didn't really have a plan of what to say, I just kind of wanted to sit down, sometimes I like to sit down and just spew out shit, because eventually something I'll say will kind of stick, right, that's supposed to happen, but because like I said, I haven't really thought about the reflecting, I'm almost reflecting on the fly, which I actually think is way more real, if that makes sense. I can't plan what I'm feeling. I'm just going to sit down and talk to you like it's a therapy session about 2016. So, it's hard to, hard for me to think about this year, because so much has happened. When I think of, I can remember last New Year's Eve, and I remember it so clearly, like it was just, I'm like, holy shit, the year's gone so fast, but I've done so much shit in YouTube and outside of YouTube in my life. I made that cool web series cleaned out at the end of the year and I was doing radio shows. I was doing stand-up comedy at the start of the year. Uh, I I'd had some fun personal growth that I had. I felt like I had to do at this point this year. I had plenty of Tyler's Tales and crazy shit I did. And obviously I was so stoked with the podcast. That's been my favorite thing. Obviously I've said a million times the Kill Connor Club from YouTube is well, it was supposed to be behind me, but I realised the screen's gone out for the first time ever. That's super embarrassing. Well, cool. The screen's out. Fuck everything. Um, you can just see that. It's going to be a black screen for now. Fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> so funny. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm not even going to put it back up. It's going to be black. Fuck you. Stupid screen. Oh, God, that's funny. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Um, oh, but yeah, the podcast, it was just the best thing about YouTube this year, and obviously I did some really fun videos I love to do, those Battle Bros videos, Battlefield 1 videos with Joel I just did in the last month were hilarious, if you haven't watched those, Jesus Christ, just, just to listen to the jokes and the laughs, it's, it's a great time, Free Run for Justice season, Zorigen was this year, and that was, oh my god, that series was a... I'm so proud of that series. That was so good. It, it is When I planned it in my head, when I conceived it, I'm like, how could I actually pull that off in those 10 episodes? And it came out exactly the way I wanted it to. Uh, I was so happy with the, the way it turned out and the way people responded to it. Um, you know, that was amazing. That was so much fun to do. I did some walkthroughs, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood um, that I just finished yesterday, the last 24 hours. And, yeah, it's just been a blast of a year, really, um, re when I think about it. Yeah, what, I can't really ask for any more. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm alive, I'm healthy. There's not much more I can ask for at the end of the day. And I've done a lot of fun stuff, and I've grown as a person. My channel's continued to grow, and next year I see it being a bigger year than ever before for the podcast. Obviously, 2017... January the first podcast, James and I have announcements where we can start talking to you about uh, new shit that's going to be coming out in 2017 that we're collaborating and working on together as well as the year goes on. We'll continue to grow and develop some new things for the community to help bring the community together more and grow that even further heading into the next Assassin's Creed game in Empire. So that's really exciting. Uh, and the first video of 2017 will probably be my Assassin's Creed movie review, I'd say. I'm going to go see that January 1st on New Year's Day. Um, I have work on New Year's Day, which sucks, but um, right after work I'm going to go see the movie. Um, again, I'm not excited. Doing it literally for this channel and to do a video, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go in and watch it regardless, and there'll be a full Kill Connor Club spoiler cast where the, my review will probably be mostly spoiler-free, and then I'm going to do a big, long podcast that's a separate thing with James. It'll just be talking about the movie and spoiler cast. It won't be like the full first Kill Con Club of the year, not at all. That'll be the normal three-hour show. This will be something different. We'll talk about that in the first podcast of the year. So that's exciting. I'm not sure when it'll be. James said 8th of January. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I'm sure we'll figure that out soon. Um, and I don't really know what else. I mean, next year, I'm just going to... Other than the plans I have with James and that launching that new stuff and relaunching the podcast and growing that, that's my main priority 
in 2017 when it comes right down to it. That is my number one priority. Uh, and with everything else, it's really just seeing how it goes. I'm going to stick around for sure. I, I promise you all I will be sticking around. Um, I'm not going anywhere. There'll be more laughs, plenty of banter, and I'll be around when this next Assassin's Creed's coming out. I'll be there covering it. I'll do all the videos I can on it. And uh, in terms of series like The Truth and stuff, I don't really know how I'm going to be doing any of those things next year. I'm just going to really play it by ear. I'm just going to be here to cover the next Assassin's Creed game, to sit down and talk to you guys and what my thoughts on what's going on with the next Assassin's Creed, as well as Kingdom Hearts stuff, because there's going to be so much Kingdom Hearts next year, 2.8, uh, 1.5, 2.5 coming to PS4, plenty of Kingdom Hearts 3 news, I'm sure, plus Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out uh, in fall of 2017. So those are the three franchises I'm going to be focusing on next year and just doing what I can to talk about them. Because I think mostly next year when you see videos from me, it's going to be me sitting in front of a camera like this and just talking to you guys about my thoughts on topics and things going on and news. I'm not going to be... I don't know about these theory videos. When I have them, I'll do them. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I haven't got a plan for those. I don't have a big setup for those. I just... I'm going to play everything by ear. See how it goes. Do as many videos as I can. Work my hardest. I mean, 2017 is my last year for university. I've trying to get a degree here this is my final year I gotta work my ass off here you know obviously I also have a job that pays my rent and my bills so I've got to focus on that plus there's this new Assassin's Creed game and this new stuff I'm launching with James it's so much shit 2017 is gonna be so busy so crazy I have a great feeling about it I know that I have a really good feeling about 2017 I'm really excited for it and I'm gonna work my ass off for you guys I'm gonna try my best and I hope you all have a great new year a great start to 2017 and a great end for yourselves in 2016. And I hope you all had a great Christmas as well. And uh, I guess I don't know what else to say. I've been blabbering on for way longer than I needed to be blabbering on for. So guys, thank you for watching this video if you got this far. Uh, for this year on my channel and for next year, thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you very, very soon for my first video of 2017.